All right, guys. Good morning, everybody. Thank you so much for making the time to uh, show up and be here. Can you believe this? This is our second and last call for the month of January, which means I hope your uh, February plans are set because it's our <laughs> no. Uh, it's our second call. This is our professional development call with the theme of curiosity who came to mind um, is Lindsay. Since I've known her um, at, in, in a friend group, um, I've, I've observed her be unrelenting in pursuing what she wanted to do next. And um, as a founder of Poppy and Vine and the distillery festival, uh, the Wine Country Distillery Festival in Sonoma County, she has had tons of opportunity to be curious in every kind of a setting. So without further ado, you all know Lindsay, or most of you know Lindsay, but uh, Lindsay, please take it away. All right, well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for having me today. Um, my name is Lindsay Musco, and I am the founder, owner, operator of Poppy and Vine, an online hospitality magazine and destination marketing firm that's located here in Sonoma County. And we focus on local craft brands, um, you know, highlighting them, sharing their story, sharing their why, uh, because I find it to be a very important aspect of um, the charm that draws people to this area. And as also, I am the founder of the Wine Country Distillery Festival. Um, and, and ironically, that is 100% curiosity that worked out. <laughs> so we'll dig into that a little bit here in a moment. But uh, so my background is in, in food and beverage hospitality. Uh, since 15, I've been in that industry. Um, my first job here was with Cafe de Croissant, working the back counter studied hospitality at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, and then started my uh, professional career in hotels in San Francisco, bounced around to um, some educational establishments, and then uh, decided to move into food startups and really kind of uh, uh, get a taste for what that looked like. And in 2018, I was working for my second food startup and came to this realization that um, I was taking a lot of risk on someone else's curiosity uh, and, and dream and was wondering why I wasn't doing that for myself. And, and so I started to work on Poppy and Vine uh, with the help of Bianca and figured that I would you know, work on that and fine tune it as, as I decided to slowly transition out of that food startup. Well, uh, as we've now all learned, plans do not go as planned, and that company actually was purchased, and I was I was let go um, in in the beginning of 2019. And so it was you know a blessing and a curse all at the same time. It pushed me into that um, solopreneur space much sooner than I thought I was ready for. But then I also decided that I would just stick with it and see where that took me. Um, you know, 2019 held a variety of other changes for me uh, personally, and um, I think that curiosity really let me embrace that change, I think is a good way to describe it. Um, I learned uh, in my early 30s that plans definitely never go as planned. I keep on joking that I'm on like version 2.G of my plan um, and that, you know, I just pretty much say yes and know that I will figure it out. I think curiosity, uh, that word I was thinking about it and, and what kind of um, branches off of that. So I was thinking about growth, engagement, questions, future, next, those kind of other words really seemed to um, attach themselves to the word curiosity. And I also think that with that, those words come in natural transitions in our life, both personally and professionally. And so, you know, you think of curiosity really goes hand in hand with growth. Um, you, you have curiosity, which leads to the change, the work that needs to be done, which changes to, your, uh, changes to growth. And, you know, throughout Poppy and Vine's life, um, there's been a variety of different opportunities that have presented themselves that um, have turned into wonderful things. 
example, the Wine Country Distillery Festival. Um, but again, you know, 2020 threw a big wrench in that. And we were lucky enough to be able to accomplish that event right before the shutdown happened. Um, but in preparation for 2021, we made the hard decision to go ahead and postpone that because there were so many unknown variables. Um, and we, you know, consciously decided to, to not uh, take on that risk. And, you know, so then curiosity leads to questions and usually leads to transition. And, you know, so we really made a big pivot in 2020, um, you know, one of those fun buzzwords of 2020 into the virtual space, which so many of you I know had to do as well. I've had the pleasure of meeting with Brian in person that definitely changed this year. Um, same with Bianca and, um, you know, I know everyone's industry has been affected in one way or the other, whether we've had to learn new tools um, for virtual experiences or whether, you know, uh, you know, if you're in the real estate business, I know that it was an extremely busy year, but also moving into a very different way to interact with your clients um, has really pushed us to ask the question of how do we do it? and what's the best way to do it, um, both for yourself and for your clients and your customers. And again, I think curiosity leads to questions, leads to engagement. And, you know, for me, I think um, having kind of this hotel corporate structure kind of pounded into me into my early professional career of, um, you know, engagement, brand loyalty, building your, your, your foundation and your loyal customers and guests, I mean, that comes back to engaging with them and asking those questions of yourself, of your employees, of your customers, of your vendors, you know, how can I best serve you? And I, you know, serve you is a, a, a pretty like strong word, but serve you in the respect, in the, you know, how can we work together to make this relationship work for everyone? And how can we move forward together? Um, you know, some other buzzwords that I think are really fitting for curiosity, you know, and we've all heard of them recently, the fail forward, leap of faith, resilience, all of those words come into play in natural transitions in life, I feel like. And those are both personal and professional. And I think as we've all learned in 2020, that, um, blends fairly quickly, personally and professionally. And so all of those, you know, aspects play into, again, the engaging with yourself, asking those questions, being curious, and taking that, you know, leap of faith as, as to where we're going to go next, what does that look like? And also being okay to be scared to not really know what that looks like. Um, there's, it's impossible to know, you know, how it's all going to work out. We always, you know, put our best foot forward and hope, you know, that the plan works out as close as possible, but it usually tends not to. Um, and being okay with that is also, I think, a really important piece of, of the whole puzzle of curiosity of what curiosity really means. It means you're going to try something you likely will fail and then you're going to get up and you're going to keep trying it until you get as close to what you wanted to achieve as possible. And then you'll try it again with something else. I think that that's um, how I really embraced curiosity over the last couple of years. Uh, and so, you know, one of the things that we did in, in 2020 with the Distillery Festival, when all of these, when our first kind of orders came into place to, you know, stay at home and hang out, you know, I immediately reached out to the vendors that had previously participated asking, you know, how could I help them share what they were doing um, to, you know, support their business in any way possible. There was no, um, you know, gimmick or ask back from that. And it was really purely just to help them share all of the hard work that they were doing to stay afloat. And I think, again, it goes back to building relationships, um, building that bond, you know, building that loyalty, 
knowing that you are a true partner um, in the process and getting, you know, to that next step, whatever that next step is. Um, and, and, and truthfully, you might not know, and that's okay. Uh, it, it's scary to not necessarily know what the next, you know, step is, but it also naturally comes as curiosity and growth kind of blend and merge together. Um, I would love to hear what, you know, some of the things you guys did this in this year <laughs> kind of feels like an extension of this year, right? Um, you know, I'd love to know what are some of the ways that you guys did use that curiosity to really move, you move the needle either for yourself or for people that you work with or, um, you know, personally or professionally, because I think the important Thing to realize from 2020 is that how we do business is likely going to change for quite some time, if not forever. Um, there's a lot of conversation around about, you know, people's comfort level moving forward in the near future, as well as, um, you know, how people are just going to engage with work meetings, travel, going out shopping, things like that. You know, I mean, I know even my own shopping habits have definitely changed in 2020, not because they necessarily had to, but because the convenience presented itself and I very much enjoyed and do enjoy having that convenience. So likely that won't necessarily change for me. So I'm so curious to hear how other things have, have progressed for you and what you think you'll stick with or hope to see kind of come back to a more normal uh, experience. 